Elizabeth with episode 64. Should we wait for somebody to say they can hear us? Mm -hmm. All right. It's always best to wait because the one time even that I don't wait. I know. Is going to be just like, and of, of course this happened episode one, the debut episode. It was just. Uh, can you technology. see us and hear us? Can you feel the Anyone? love tonight? Can you feel love tonight? I think they played that at my wedding. Eden's checking on her phone. Bailey, you want to be in this episode? Yep. All right, here we go. Great. Hey, everybody, and welcome to episode 64 of Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, the creator of the Ultimate Weight Loss Program, and this is where I answer your questions about healthy, I was going to say and delicious, sustainable. healthy, permanent, sustainable, and in today's episode, delicious weight loss. I have two guests joining me today, and together, the three of us have lost nearly 500 pounds. Wow. Shada, 115 pounds. Heather, 300 pounds on the Ultimate Weight Loss Program. Please welcome Shada and Heather. Hi guys! Hi. Hi everybody! All right, I am going to be stepping. I'm stepping to the side today. Hi guys! So I'm Heather Goodwin, and I lost. I did not lose, actually. I took off <laughs> 300 pounds on the Ultimate Weight Loss Program. You released it. We released I did. It. I let it. I donated it to someone who needed it because I'm a generous person, right? But I do think it's important. Don't you guys think it's important how you talk to yourselves? Absolutely. Yeah. You have to talk positively. You can't be negative. And because I don't want to find it. No. I don't. I'm not looking for it. It's gone. I'm it's gone. I'm done. You don't want it. Mm -hmm. Whoosh. I'm done. Happy with that cheek. And so I thought that I have enjoyed Chef AJ's recipes so much, and they helped me take off this weight. Mm. I thought I would share with you some, I want to share with her some recipes that I make. Yep, I think it's, yep, we're on. We're on. Okay, guys, and then what I wanted to also make a comment is that I started teaching a healthy cooking class, and if you go to eventbrite.com, look up Healthy Cooking with Shada, and my class is going to be here in Southern California in Orange County. It'll be... Sunday, March 18th from 11 to 1. You must go to eventbrite.com and sign up for the class, and that's how you will get your spots. We are limited in size, and we are starting to run out of space, so please sign up as quickly as you can. We're making some delicious recipes. In fact, I'm actually going to be teaching, because you guys are always asking me about Persian food, so I will be teaching one Persian dish mm. and um, a few, a lot of other healthy dishes that um, have helped me to lose those. this weight. So I really do hope that you will join yeah. me and come to the class and uh, let's get cooking. Yum. All right. Thank you. So today what I'm making is pizza. Yum, my favorite. And I also am making some stuffed red peppers. And one of the things that I like to do, I think it's important with food being my drug, because I am um, a food addict, I believe in kind of limiting your exposure to your drug. And so I do a lot of recipes where I make one thing and it goes for more than one recipe. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be using the same ingredients to top the pizza that I use to stuff the peppers. And so that way you get kind of two um, things. And then the next thing that goes into the food processor is three quarters of a cup of white beans, some kind of white beans. So I'm using garbanzo beans. If you don't like garbanzo beans, you could get, use cannelloni beans. You could use great northern white beans. It really doesn't matter, but you need three quarters of a cup of those. Okay. I made a similar pizza crust on my channel, um, which is the butterfly effect, plant-based weight loss. I made a similar one, but this one is my new and improved pizza crust because that one came out really sticky and took a really long time to cook. And so because of that, I updated it. So this is three quarters of a cup of garbanzo beans going in, okay? And then the next thing we need is three quarters of a cup of steamed cauliflower. So we got our steamed cauliflower and that's going in. Why okay. is the cauliflower mad? I don't know. You said it's steamed, but there I'll There you go, <laughs> I know. 
Maybe because we put it in the Instant Pot for a minute and it did not enjoy that. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend these ingredients together. On high. And every once in a while you wanna scrape down the bowl to make sure that everything is getting incorporated nicely. Do you have a favorite vegetable, Heather? Do I? Oh my gosh, I love all the vegetables. Um, That's the gosh. secret to your weight yep. loss. Yep. I really do think so. I am a big fan of broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower. I like asparagus quite a bit. But I think the thing I eat the most is a lot of salad. Mm -hmm. And I put, um, so every kind of salad green is just amazing. I do love cauliflower, and I do, um, you know, cauliflower is a cruciferous vegetable, so it's a cancer killer, so that's always good. But it also kind of lowers the glycemic index of the whole thing, too, of your pizza crust. And it's yummy which is the important part. <laughs> so all I'm gonna do now is put this into a bowl, which we um, already have over here. So I'm gonna grab that out. And I'm gonna add to it something to help it stick together better. Although it's very sticky, you can see, look at that. It's almost like, it's like a very wet dough we at might, this point. Should we consider logging off and then coming back on? Because Tons of people are saying that there are just issues okay. up the wazoo. Okay. If you, ugh, and I'll just recap what we did. Are you sure? No, they're not. They're just saying. Sheeta, can you go on your what phone? What a shame. See? They're angry, reacting. Oh boy. Can you check on your phone, Sheeta? Because it's hard. I mean, I have the broadcast now, but people are saying they can't hear, that it's getting blurry, that it's fuzzy, that that it's stopping and starting and stopping and starting. Why don't we just try in here? What does it look like on your phone, Shana? The video it's, keeps stopping. Someone just it said it again. Fine. It does. But it, but, it, but it does do the buffering. See? Well, should I take it off Wi-Fi? It doesn't mean that it will do it in the replay. Yeah, I would keep going. Because it's going. Okay. If anybody missed it, in the Cuisinart, I put three quarters of a cup of Japanese sweet potato that I roasted and peeled three quarters of a cup of garbanzo beans, and three quarters of a cup of steamed cauliflower. And then I took it out of the Cuisinart, and the food processor, and I put it in a bowl, okay? So we're making pizza crust, if you're just joining us. And now I'm going to add one tablespoon of ground flax seeds. And that's going to help it stick together even better. That's a half tablespoon measure. That's what yeah, she's that's doing a half tablespoon. So that's why I'm doing two. I'm a big fan of just using what you have in the kitchen. <laughs> so I'm going to stir that in just a little bit. When you weighed 436 pounds, were you eating vegetables? I was eating vegetables, but I was eating, um, let's see, fried potatoes. Ah. I was eating. Um, I was eating fried vegetables, like <laughs> stir-fry, and yeah, mm -hmm. yep. So the no oil is important then, you would say? Quarters of a cup. I'm gonna add a cup and a half of rolled oats. So this is a cup measure. I'm gonna add one and then a half of one. You ever wonder why they call them rolled oats when they're technically flattened and steamed oats? I think somebody rolled over them. And roll them, roll them, roll them. Roll your own oats, that is. Okay, so this is going to make kind of a sticky batter, but the longer you let it sit, the oats kind of absorb some of that liquid and make it in, and then the, also the flax seeds 
will help too. Oh my gosh, I love Bailey. I love, we have a little, I feel like I'm cheating on my dog, you guys. No comments that I didn't wash my hands. I'm not cooking today. <laughs> my kitchen, my rules. Yeah, that's right. Bailey doesn't get to see food. As much, so. I love you, Bailey. She misses her own dog. I love you, I do. My little, and they're very similar. Like my dog is white and fluffy, but she's the same kind the same of sweet kind dog. dog. And I, yeah, do not buy a dog from a pet right. store or a puppy mill. Oh. There are amazing doggies at the Humane Society. I got mine from the pound mm -hmm. because Same it here. wasn't a no-kill. Same here. Um, and I just wanted to, I wanted to save a life. Don't you know? shop, adopt. Even if people eat meat, that's, right. that's the thing that drives me the most crazy is that people breed pets. That is silly. When there's a thousand that it's die insane. every week just in LA shelters. It doesn't even make any sense. Do you have something, um, uh, something so I can take what I made out of the oven? Oh, you mean like oven mitts? That would be. <laughs> is that what you call it? <laughs> I am blonde. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I just want to show you um, to get it started so that it would be ready. You know, so I could top the pizza. We did already start. And Ooh, so what I did wow. was... Wow, that looks incredible. Doesn't it look good? And there is nothing, no flour in this, wow, right? it looks like a yeah. giant cookie. We don't do sugar, flour, or salt in this program. Or this. oil. Or alcohol. Or oil. Or alcohol. Or and animal it has products. none of those. Or it has none of those. And so I am ready to actually flip it over and have it go on the other side. So we'll do that. And you know what I forgot to ask you is if you had tomato paste. I do have tomato paste. Hallelujah. In the cabinet, it's by you. Hallelujah. Low, very lower. Very okay. So what I'm doing is really carefully yeah. peeling. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I'm really carefully peeling this crust up because because we don't use any oil, it is super sticky. Which is why we like to use a non-stick silicone. Yes, that you also have to. Do you know that's my original silk hat from France that's all over Oh my gosh. Old. And it, look at they I hold know. up forever. I mean, they, they they're amazing. Color, but they're great. Who cares? I don't care what color it is. In fact, then you don't see the stains and stuff. Because, you know, like I've, I've made beets on mine. And Be very do you have another one? Yeah. I just like to flip it on to... It's a two-man job. No, no, another no, silk hat. Uh, another oh, silk another hat. Silk hat. I could take this one out from under yeah, the paint. Okay, you do? This is my little trick. You put one on top, and then you grab the edges carefully, That's and after it's cool, yep. and then you do the flip. Nice. Yeah. I, you know, I... It's be on, can, I, can, I, yeah. can I just say... I really do think that it's from the eating food. a lot of fruits and vegetables yeah. and not and having a clean hands diet yeah. because nobody had to die from my dinner. We're not ruining the environment for my dinner. We're not having children starve in other countries from famine because we misused how we use our food supply. And I really do think I notice, like when we have our convention, when we have our conference, we have our awesome ultimate weight loss conference in Vegas. In Vegas, Vegas, baby. Um, and it'll be uh, uh, September uh, Labor Day. Labor Day, Labor Day weekend. I'm going. Wouldn't miss it. Gone to the last two. Yep. Wouldn't miss it. Um, when we have our conference, I just notice that there is this air of everybody is. First of all, they look so young. Mm -hmm. Like, you cannot guess people's age. No. I have a friend who's 70. She looks 50. Um, it's just so, this kind of eating really yeah. does. It does help. It's, I always say, it's not what you put on your skin, it's what you, you put eat. in your face. It's not what you put on your face, it's what you put in your face yeah. that matters. So, I, I know you were just being silly, but yeah. I really do think that a vegan diet. Yeah really that and especially the way we eat with all the fruits and all the vegetables that is going to give you awesome skin if and you're not familiar with heather not only check out her youtube channel butterfly effect plant-based weight loss but on my youtube channel where you can watch this within 24 hours we just did a 90 minute talk that heather gave that's absolutely phenomenal and she shows pictures of when she weighed 436 pounds more than 300 pounds more than she weighs now wow and she did it eating carbs people i did i love carbs that's I love messing with people. They're like, oh, aren't you worried about the carbs in that potato oh or in my. that brown rice? And I'm like, um, I'm on an all-carb diet. 
or if they'll be saying, I really cut my carbs and I'm on the whole 30 and everything, I'll be like, oh, I'm on an all-carb diet. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, you know, oh, an all-carb diet? Like it's the most terrifying thing they've ever heard of. And they say, well, aren't you afraid of um, losing weight? And I say, you know, I mean, aren't you afraid of gaining weight? And I say, you know, I've only taken off 300 pounds. Yeah. Maybe you're right. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should, you know, like, like Doug says, yeah. Oh, you know, it could be wrong. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that. Okay, so in a, uh, we need some toppings for this pizza. Hey, Would is you this agree? where you fell? No. You sure? Well, I, I kind of. Yeah, you broke my counter. I did. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. She didn't fall over she there. I saw her. her. She oh didn't. God. She's no. cracking me up. Okay. <laughs> be a little incident. So, I really like to use the same things in more than one dish. So, I'm going to be using. I'm going to be making a couple pounds of onions because I'm going to use couple half of pounds. a couple pounds of onions, wow. Chef AJ. Well, this is 10 ounce, so I guess I'm only going to use 20 ounces of onions, but I'm going to use two of these, right? And we do not need any oil to saute. Yeah, this corner is a little bit askew, so you okay. don't want to use this one. Perfect. I love this because when Chef AJ was in my house in Portland, I was her sous chef. And remember, if it's in your house, it's in your mouth. That's right. I was her sous chef, and now she's mine. I have my victory. I have my sweet revenge. We'll have a contest. This I is will great. Be your sous chef. For a I day. love it. I'm loving it. This is a great can opener, guys. If you don't have it, it's animal friendly, meaning animals often injure themselves licking your trash Aww. because it's sharp. But that's, that's sad. It is, but okay. it's true. So we're not using that yet. We're going to use that once the pizza crust comes out of the oven. Oh, cool. Yes. But what we're doing is we're just sauteing some toppings for the pizza. Yum. And then we're going to use those to make some delicious stuffed peppers with oat roots. Okay. So I've got 20 ounces. Not sure. See? Yeah. 20 ounces of onions. And you know what I was just thinking, AJ? Oh. Is that by the time you peel an onion and take off the skin and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, this is probably pretty, it probably is pretty close to the right amount. Okay. And then I'm going to be adding some. Do you want to turn? Criminy onions. I mean, hey. criminy, criminy onions. Criminy mushrooms, I'm sorry. I got these already cut up at Trader Joe's too. Is criminy a word? Oh, criminy. Criminy. Hi, Migora. Do you want okay. me to turn this on at all for you? I would love that. And I need a little water and a spatula. Yep. So let me find yeah, a spatula. There's definitely more spatulas. This is actually a pancake turner, but I love it. So I'm going to use it because it'll work really well on the... Um, it's going to work extremely well when we get to the... Um, mushrooms have so much water. You don't need mushrooms. Yeah, I mean, you we don't really need just water. need a little. We there just need a little bit of it. So you really don't need any oil to saute. You just At need a all. pan. Can I this never. happens to be a hard anodized steel one from Pamper Chef that I've had for like 30 years. If That's you're not awesome. comfortable using nonstick, get a good piece of stainless steel or waterless cookware. I love it. And another thing that I really like on a pizza is red bell pepper yeah mm. and a lot of people don't realize that red bell pepper actually has more vitamin c than an orange it's wow. uh, it's one of the highest source the biggest sources of vitamin c there is and they're there. actually ripe the green ones are unripe right right i don't yes. care if i taste the no. i don't know if this is true but i heard that uh, a red bell pepper a green bell pepper yellow orange that they're all the same pepper, that they start out green and mm -hmm. then they just turn yellow and then orange and then red. When I was at Oli Chai, I watched them grow the, grow the peppers right. and I would go out there every single day and you saw the green turning into the yellow, the yellow turning into the orange, the orange Beautiful. turning. Beautiful. It was gorgeous. And well, the red is definitely my favorite. Oh, yeah. Well, it's mm -hmm. sweeter too. And the green gives me a little indigestion. Yeah. Well, yeah, because right. it's, it's not right. Because right. it's not right. Exactly. You're not supposed so. to eat unripe. Right. 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 Yeah, I never cared for the green. And, you know, my mom would use them sometimes, like, to add a little color and things like that, but, you yeah. You can use jalapenos and, or something else that's green. Yeah, you could. Oh, I like jalapenos that. would be good. Or would be greens wonderful. chopped up, finally. There you go. Spinach. Some herbs. There's so, lots of ways to get you your green If you can talk at the same time. Yes. Um, we've got tell some me, tell questions. Me. Jane wants to know, do you fast and how often? I do do some therapeutic fasting. Mm -hmm. A lot of you guys know um, that I have some unwanted guests in my lungs. 
called tumors. I don't like to say the C word. I don't like to claim the C word. It is moving through me. And so um, on the advice of my physician, I do some therapeutic fasting. But you're not doing this for weight loss. I'm not. Yeah. And it's, it's uh, any, any of the doctors at True North will tell you it's kind of a lousy way to lose weight. Absolutely. Um, it's not a good way to lose weight. Right. So don't do it for that. But um, there's a really cool TED Talk by Mark Matson, Dr. Mark Matson, who talks a lot about the benefits to your brain from even just periodic fasting mm -hmm. and intermittent fasting. And I really recommend that to anybody that would be interested and had more questions. I'm just, I'm not an expert on it. So I, and of course, we all know who the experts are about Dr. fasting. Dr. Goldhammer. Can, yeah, Dr. Yeah. Goldhammer, any of the docs at True North will tell you how to fast safely. Will help tell you what to do, what not to do. Um, so that's what I would. That's who I would refer mm -hmm. people to. Excellent. Thank you. There's two questions about your skin, and Heather's very upfront about the fact that she had skin surgery. Mm -hmm. So I'll read both of them. Vicky wants to know if you have problems with extra skin now that you've lost 300 pounds. She's an amazing person, true, and a true inspiration. Yup, to everyone who sees her. And then Julie said that she knows you recently had surgery to remove mm -hmm. excess skin. I hope you're well. I know from previous posts that you were debating whether to do it or not. Mm -hmm. What made you decide to do it? Do you have any advice to anyone who would choose to do it? So okay. do you have extra skin and do you have advice? Okay. So I do have extra skin. I have noticed that some of my extra skin has been bouncing back. For instance, underneath my arms. Cool. I used to have like flying squirrel, like the flat. Um, yeah. The bat wings. Yeah. Oh, in a big way. Like it was way more than bat wings. It yeah. was bat flags or something. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I have noticed that with weightlifting and stuff that that is coming back. So that's a lot better. And um, just. Talking, I'm just still sauteing the um, onions so and the onions and the red peppers and the um, mushrooms. And in a minute, I'll add the garlic, but I don't like my garlic overcooked, mm -hmm. so I like to let it get mostly done before I put the garlic in. And I and I'm not that crazy about mushrooms, so I'm going to grill them quite a bit. But you liked them the other day when I made I them did. in the air fryer, didn't you? She spoiled me. She yeah. made me some, um, you know, onion. I mean, uh, mushrooms are supposed to be really good for you. Mm -hmm. And it's really recommended that you get them. Dr. And so, says, yeah. yeah. And so, I don't like them either, but I like them in the air fryer. Exactly. And, and if you so, use the pepperoni pizza spice, that would be like a great topping. And that is what I'm going to get. I'm totally getting that. Ooh, that would be a good thing to do in LA. Mm. Um, go get a pepperoni pizza spice. So, I just got distracted. Okay, Sorry. so the loose skin. No, 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 no. So, I, you're right, I wasn't going to have the surgery, and I was just going to live with the fact that my belly kind of went um, down, almost <laughs> halfway down. I'm not even lying. Yeah, I, I, I would wear a spank or something, you know, like a compression garment to try to keep it. But what happened was that I had, um, it was causing me problems. It was causing me not just, you know, it's very common for it to cause people skin problems and stuff. But it was causing me adhesions in my like intestines and all of my girly reproductive stuff. Mm -hmm. And so um, the doctor said if you don't have this, it could keep happening. And also, I and I frankly I needed another surgery anyway. And they it, I got kind of a twofer. Wow. I got a twofer. So they they released the adhesions, the scar tissue that had formed, and at the same time they took off six pounds of of excess skin. And would I do it again? Okay. Did it hurt? It didn't hurt. Wow. It didn't hurt. You know, it's so funny, but it did not hurt. Now, tummy tucks hurt like a very bad word, right? A very, very bad word. This is not it a tummy tuck. So it's something good. called a paniculectomy, which is where they just... Paniculectomy. Where they just take off that apron of skin that hangs down your thighs or whatever. But... Um, a tummy tuck does hurt. And I'm not... And I... You know, um, what did end up hurting is I got a post-operative infection. So it, it was very serious. And if you would have asked me, in fact, Shada could tell you, I was like, I shouldn't have done this. It was stupid. I wish I wouldn't have That's done it. That's what you everybody know. says, but then after the wars, they're mm -hmm. like happy they did it. Yeah. I'm kind of like getting married. Well, I think. Why well, I kind of have like having children. Yeah. So yeah. You go through all that pain, and then all of a sudden you forget all again. Oh, I'm pregnant again. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so. Luckily, that is not happening. The factory's closed. The workers have gone home. But um, 
The so I wasn't happy when I first did it. I'm going to be very honest with you. But now I now I am. Now that um this now that the infection is cleared up, something's I, burning. Something's burning? I smell something burning. It just Maybe it's the water. No, I check, think, the pizza, check the pizza. I think crust. it might be the crust. Okay. Oh, it's brown, but it's not burned. Okay, so let's take the pizza crust out because it's actually ready. And now I'm going to turn the heat down and I'm going to add my garlic. Let me get the pizza crust out so we can have the ta-ta. So Myra says, I just want to send my love and say how incredibly Aww. inspiring and awesome Heather is. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. I just want you to know that I am Ooh, look at it a now. great big old fat food addict. And if I can do it, anybody can do it, right? Isn't it look yummy? I don't want to touch it because it's Don't yum it because it's super hand. It's touching It's freaking hot too. It's it 400 so degrees. Good. So, so that's my put... piece. What are the rest of the girls? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Speaking of girls, I have three single girls here today. Women. I've got Eden behind Women. the cam camera, a blonde. Gorgeous. I've got Shada. Gorgeous. Brunette. Heather, another blonde. They're all single. Come on. Somebody's She's going to be our Yenta. Tony, I know Tony watches every week. Tony, you single? I'm always trying to pimp Kenny out. It's only fair that you guys have equal right? equal time. Right? I don't want Kenny to have all the love. But if you are a Jewish vegan girl, Kenny is available. That's right. So now you had mentioned you gained some weight after your surgery. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That freaked me out. But that was from retention of fluid, right? It was a lot of retention. Because, yes. Okay. Well, because you got to remember, my skin was so stretched out. Mm -hmm. Like, there were four of me. Like, there, were, I am one quarter of what, I lost three, and I kept one, right? Right, because Eden had a question, and she didn't realize it was from fluid retention. You, cause it was from fluid retention. It was, it was from fluid retention. But again, I didn't know that. I mean, the doctor told me that, but it freaked me the mm -hmm. heck out, as it would anybody, you know? And so, um, and... I was worried because I you know, was eating a little differently and maybe... Were you maintaining abstinence, she wants to know. Yes. And she does adore you, by the way. I so. was maintaining abstinence. I have not broken my abstinence. I have, I will be honest with everybody, I did overeat. Yeah. I would definitely say I overate. Mm -hmm. um, like I ate past fullness. Yeah. One thing, AJ, you eat a lot, but yep. you don't eat past fullness. Well, I don't know. I mean, sometimes it feels like it, but yeah. it's, it's vegetables. So. Exactly, yeah. But I wasn't eating. <laughs> I wasn't only eating. <laughs> I may have been you eating a your... Whore. I might have been eating your red lentil chili. Okay. I might have been eating a little nutrient-rich black That's bean right. soup and over and over and over. Starch yeah. whore. Yes, exactly. Okay. So I just wanted to say I my the toppings are ready for my mm -hmm. pizza. Now I'm gonna use just your just very simple. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I love you. Mm -hmm. Just very simple. Um, this is organic tomato paste, From and I'm Costco. gonna use that as pizza sauce. Oops. I'll just turn that off. Just press the. Now Heather, could you put? Button. Heather, could instead of tomato paste, could you put hummus on there? You so could. You could make this however you want. If you did hummus, it might be more like um, it could be more of a um, like a white meat. You know how there's like white sauce pizzas uh -huh. and things like that. So that would be delicious. You got to remember, there's garbanzo beans already in the crust, and there's also. Um, so I'm doing I'm doing a more like a typical yeah, marinara, right. but you could do whatever you want. It's so good. And then I forgot to ask. I keep forgetting to ask for these things. But do you have any Italian seasoning? Uh, like any Italian I, seasoning? I'm sure, blend. I have basil or, or it could oregano. be oregano. Yeah, anything like that. And for anyone what wanting like? to know Heather's story, she told her story a few days ago, and the video is on YouTube. Awesome. It, it is. Yes. I've got herbs of Provence. I've got uh, herbs of Provence. Okay, I've got basil. Basil. Or is okay. it basil? I like okay, basil. Open okay, basil. And I'm sure I have oregano. Do you have any oregano? Yes, okay, I do. that's all we need. Do you want rosemary? I. You know what? You're the chef. What would be good on an Italian? Well, 
I'm thinking basil and oregano would be just awesome. Benson's table tasty. Okay. So Enid wants to know and what a advice. Little bit of oh, sorry about that. Yep. I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. I, I hate to turn my back to you guys. Uh, where's the oregano? Yeah. And how long did the crust bake? Do you want to restate that? Sure. So it was 400 degrees for. 30 minutes, and then I flipped it, and I did another 15. Time might be okay. A little bit of time. Okay. If we don't have oregano, it's not a big oh, deal. No, I have to have oregano. Here we go. There you go. Okay. Or if I was English, oregano. No, no, no. They say it wrong. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little nooch. Oh, got to get you there. To be, to be like the cheese, you know. Okay. Oops, sorry, about me. Getting my head in. You open your eyes. Fine. Okay, great. So a little nutritional yeast, and we're just using that as like a sprinkle to be a sprinkle a day. Can you see this? Yeah. Okay. And I how is this to... recipe different from the one you have on your YouTube channel? If that is crust. a great question. So I added the oats. Okay. Because I felt like um, they were, re and I, I think, I don't remember if I had used the chia seeds, but when I made it again, I found that it was so much better when I did it this way. So, you guys, now you can just top it literally with whatever you like, but I wanna put, I'm gonna put a few, forgive my fingers that are very clean. I did not pet Bailey, if anybody is worried. I would like to pet Bailey, I love Bailey. Um, she's the sweetest little thing. She reminds me very much of my dog. And I'm missing my dog a little bit. But I have been so spoiled since I came to Southern California. I got I got swept off from the airport and we went to a cool speaking engagement where Chef AJ helped so many people. And then we went we went to yoga. We, we went, went to we had right. the best salad ever at Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. that Wait was a minute, I thought you had the best no. salad in my house. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. To be very honest with you, it's very hard to beat Shada's salad. Shada's salad yeah, is Yeah, it was, I can attest to that. Yeah. I was like having salad gasms. She's the salad queen. She is strong and really lean. good. She looks like 17. Okay, so I've put some onions, some garlic, a little red pepper. You really put whatever you like. My very favorite thing in the world is hearts of palm. Mm. So, and I also have artichoke hearts. I got these artichoke hearts frozen at Trader Joe's. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. They are delicious. Now, how important is the beans to the crust? Is it a texture thing? Is it okay. to stick together? I was just going to say, I believe that for somebody like AJ, you could easily omit mm -hmm. the beans. Because if you guys don't know, AJ is actually, um, Chef AJ is actually allergic to beans. Legume intolerant. Yes. Yeah. She's, she can't be doing the beans. And so I'm going to put a few of these guys because I love them. Yeah. And sun dried tomatoes. I wish I had oh, some. Oh, yeah. Would that you know, would be really we delicious. just talking some pineapple. I have on some. Top. I have yeah. some um, fresh tomato. Yeah. So I was going to put some fresh tomato wow, on. Wow. And people think that being, this is like a diet or deprivation. Oh, You're yeah. Are kidding me? Does that look like I'm so suffering good. in any way at all? Um, okay. I'm going to try these. it. These are some. You got the best job in the world. Okay. And I'm just kind of breaking the hearts of palm in half. If I was being more fancy, I could like make them perfectly in half. Put a few of those on there. Love these guys. If you've never had hearts of palm, you are They're missing good. out. And normally I would wash them and stuff so they wouldn't have sodium on them. Okay. So now this is just going to go back in the oven. Yep. Yeah. Should I put on a couple tomatoes? Uh, yeah, you don't have to. Okay, let's get it back in the oven because we've got more stuff to make, this guys. Eden is hungry. we got more and stuff to make. And once again, another great recipe on the week that Kenny's not here. Poor Sorry, Kenny. You know what? He got, the, he got the cinnamon rolls hey, last I, week, I, I and I did yesterday, so I have them in the fridge for your hard work. So we have time for a question, uh, Heather. Absolutely. Adria says she wants to know how you are. She's been watching your videos, but can't seem to figure out what happened to her. Well, nothing happened. Well, we already addressed yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. I know she I got an infection yeah. after right. my surgery. Uh, yeah. She wants to know if you have adapted to being skinny, or do you still ha, see ha, yourself ha. as fat? Ha. She says she's lost 30 pounds, but sometimes doesn't see a difference. She's down from 16 to 10. So have you adapted to being skinny? Oh, my skinny? gosh. You're cracking me up. Skinny. Okay. So 
what I really want to be is healthy and strong. I want to have Gal Gadot arms and uh, Michelle yeah. Obama yeah. arms. I want to be healthy and strong. Um, I know what you're saying though. I like, do. I'm getting. I'm getting better. Like I don't automatically go to the plus size section of the store anymore like I used to. Um, I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting used to it. But it I can take a couple years for your brain that's, to catch up. I that's look at three years. Three to be years. Very honest. Yeah, I look at my been... pants, and I'm like. Doll clothes. No flipping way these are going to fit. You know, I just, they don't look like doll clothes, but they don't look like my clothes. And so because of that, sometimes I do have difficulty. Do okay. you have the dress that you wore at 436 pounds just to? I have a coat. I have one of my coats. And my son had me put it, put it on, mom, put it on. I didn't know he had his video camera, but it literally was out like oh, this. Wow. Because I was 90 inches around my belly and hips. So if we were in the kitchen right now, like, I would be taking up the whole kitchen. Why aren't you on shows like The Doctors and Dr. Oz? No kidding. Yeah, I seriously, she needs to be on a pounds without drugs, without surgery. Without starving, without cutting calories, cutting carbs. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, where does she get her protein? We need to get you. <laughs> From, I always say, everywhere. Because protein is in everything. It is, mm -hmm. like, the least hard thing to get. That's the only thing they everywhere. concentrate on. Yeah. I know it. Because they, they don't know. They're not ignorant like... Okay. We're so not you know what I'm like gonna them. make, Miss AJ? Yep. Because we're gonna stuff we're gonna stuff these um, yummy peppers over here. I'm gonna make a cheese sauce. Nice. I also just like I improved my pizza crust. I also improved my cheese sauce to make it UWL compliant and good for you. And so I'm gonna start with this is a sweet onion, yeah. and it's really important that it be sweet. You do not want you do not want a not sweet onion. It's just you just don't want it. Okay. And then to that, I am going to add one of my bell peppers. So I've got these two halves. And the nice thing about the Vitamix is there's really not a whole lot of chopping yeah, that right. needs to be done because those sharp blades and that high speed do the work for you. So I'm loving that. Okay. And then, ah, sorry guys, don't mean to squirt you. Um, then we are going to add... To make it taste cheesy, we have to add some nutritional yeast, and we're going to add a half a cup of nutritional yeast. And so I'm going to grab, I'm just going to grab one of the measuring cups over here. This is, sorry to show you my other side. Tiny. Here, let me, I'll just, nope, not that one, this oh, one. Sorry. There we go, now it's gone. Okay, so this is a half a cup. And I'm gonna, it's purple, it's beautiful. Anytime I see something purple and cool, I think of AJ. I, I think of purple. Chef AJ, she does. Okay, where's Facebook now? Oh, don't worry about it. No, I'm looking for those questions. Yeah, I can I can find that in a second if you want. Is it in a okay. folder? Yeah. Probably. And then I need to add some rolled oats, also a half a cup of rolled oats. Okay, and then I'm going to add, I think I'm going to use, you can either use chia seeds or you can use ground flax seeds, but since I already have the ground flax seeds out, I'm going to use the ground flax seed meal. And this is going to be my thickener. This is what's going to make it, and I lost my measuring spoon. Is it in the mm. sink? What size do you need? Um, I just need like a tablespoon. Here's a tablespoon. Thank you. Okay, a tablespoon. I'm gonna put in two tablespoons because this is for the whole recipe. So it's gonna have two tablespoons of the ground flax seeds in there, and that's gonna help it be um, thick and nice. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of garlic. I like two cloves. You've got this extra cauliflower. I'd throw that in too, just to use it. It sure wouldn't hurt anything, would it? Nope. No, let's try it. I'm gonna try it. I like to use everything. Let's try it. So that'll be what about oh yeah, another probably another we might three have to quarters add of a cup. Some of the other ingredients to even it out. I don't know. That's I think work. um I use cauliflower a lot because there's a chef named Chef Del Stroop. Yep. And he taught me about using cauliflower for um, like bechamel and stuff like that. Okay, and then we need a little bit of water. And I like to start with just a half a cup and then make it um, thicker if I need to. But you need 
you need some water to get those blades to turn. Or I, I find it's easier. So I'm going to use a half a cup of water. Or from the cauliflower. I Yeah, we could. If you want to use the cauliflower. Let's do it. That's where all the nutrients are. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay, so half a cup plus a little bit. Not much. A couple more tablespoons. All right, so now we're going to do the Vitamix. Let me move some stuff out of the way. You notice I reserved some of these, um, of my pizza toppings because I am going to, I made that other pizza crust and we're going to make a second one in just a minute here. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out of the oven and just kind of, we don't want it to get too hot, right? I mean, we don't, let me just chuck on those. Because these guys were frozen, so I'm going to let it go a little bit longer. How much? How long do you usually put them in there? Ten minutes or so. Just another ten minutes. And if I didn't have to have the oven, I would have normally turned the oven off. But we need it on for our next um, thing, which is our delicious peppers. Okay, so let me put the lid on there well. Now, I have a blend tech that kind of does everything for me, so... If I do it wrong, Chef AJ oh, will yeah. step in and be my, will you be my, yep. she will blend for me. Oh wait, let's, uh, I think plugging it in is a good idea. See, now see, that is why she's a professional chef. She knows these things. seeds do their job mm -hmm. and thicken it up. In the meantime, we want to put some, so we already have, remember we made a whole bunch of onions and um, mushrooms and red peppers, right? Mm -hmm. And then we can even add some of these artichoke hearts and, and things like that to this, um, to fill these, to fill these peppers. But one mm -hmm. of the things I like to do is add grain, right? Yes. So this is the oat groats we made a couple episodes ago that I froze. Yes, exactly. So I'm going to use some of these to help um, to fill my peppers. Great. I had us freeze so well. That is so awesome. So these are going to go right in there. And should we measure? We probably people yeah. want us to measure. So let's use a measuring cup. Thank you, beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put... I don't know. What would you say, Chef? Like at least two to start. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking more than that. Four, maybe. Yeah. I think four. Let's try four. One. So, oat groats are just almost like rice or something like yeah, that. Yeah, they are very rice and really good. They are delicious. And they're, you know, oats So much better than rolled oats. So, Both so in good. taste and texture, yeah, and, and nutritional. Could you could you make your crust with rolled? Uh, I could have if I would have had cooked rolled, rolled oats. oats if I would had them. I know, but I didn't think about it. Oh, but next time I'll idea. try that. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll be pizza crust number three point yeah. oh. That is the. Wah. Okay. All right. So that was four cups of my oat groats, and I'm just going to incorporate it well. Don't forget, I got lots of questions. Okay, go ahead while I'm incorporating. Okay. I can. Uh, Nan, for those of us with over 100 pounds to lose, can you share your favorite grocery store products or things you ordered online that helped you to get to your goal? Oh my goodness. Okay, so my favorite grocery store product is a big old tub of salad. Um, I buy those one pound things of salad. But I also, it, I do like, um, can, I, think it's, I think it's really good to make things convenient. So you notice today we used already cut up onions. We used, this is about perfect, AJ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks great. Chef AJ. You could um, just eat that like a pilaf. You could, and mm -hmm. it would be delicious. Delicious. It would be absolutely delicious. Yeah. I think maybe I want to add more garlic to it, but. Um, you want garlic powder or fresh garlic? I don't know. Let me, let's see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add at least a cup of my cheese sauce to it. Thank you. And it might, and maybe, thank you, darling. Chef. 
Scott is the most awesome person. You guys, I have been so spoiled since I've been in Southern California. I can't even tell you. Heather's here because she, thanks to you guys, she won the contest for the free week at the spa called the Oaks at Ojai. Right. New beginnings because we all voted for her like a million yes. times. But and then you guys we are awesome. California flyers, not flyers, fires, and the spa is closed for renovations. And so uh, I was just going to come back in the fall or something like that. And these nice people said, stay with me, yeah, that I could still fighting come. fighting over her. And I'm having the most Ooh, look fun. At that. I went Gosh. to Disneyland mm -hmm. yesterday. We're going to Universal, you guys, on Friday if anybody wants to join us. Harry Potter, mm -hmm. because when you weigh 436 pounds, you I could not go. fit on the Harry Potter so, ride. I couldn't fit on anything. Yeah. I couldn't fit on anything. I'm going to... I'm going to put this aside just in case I still want it. Yeah. And so I'm incorporating that delicious oh, cheese sauce. It just makes it moist and yummy. Jeez, that looks so amazing. Okay. And then I think we should spice it up. I mean, I will eat that for sure. Oh, yeah. I date that boy. That's why it's so great to always have cooked brains in the freezer. It really is. And you know, I've made this with, um, I told um, Chef AJ originally, like, I usually make it with quinoa. And, and I have quinoa too that I yeah. need today if you need it. But we had all the oat groats, and I thought oat groats with cheese would be no, amazing. No, it's awesome. So usually when I make this, I make it with oat groats and um, red lentils. Mm -hmm. So that's another way you could go. You could go with, I've done it with wild rice. Mm -hmm. well, wild rice is awesome. Wild rice is amazing. I think I'm going to put a little bit you more. Just a little bit more. When it comes to stuffing, maybe I can stuff them for you so you can ask okay. questions. That or sounds great. Help stuff. Okay, so I'm probably putting about another half a cup. Yeah. Okay, I'm still going to answer those questions. Yeah. Keep them well, coming. Shada can stuff and you can answer questions. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, Tracy okay. says, when will you decide that you are at gold? Oh, that looks so You're a normal BMI. You feel great. Uh, do you still focus on having a certain amount of weight to lose? She asks, oh, not out of criticism, but is questioning her own decision of focusing on the numbers of the scale. Sorry, Please tell her she's an inspiration, and I love her thoughtful, okay, intelligent approach. Yeah. Um, so what I go by, what I started out with, is to have a normal BMI um, because... I, go, I like to say I was, my normal weight, I'm putting in two more cloves of garlic if anybody's playing along at home. Um, I'm dropping one on the floor, that's very important. Drop one on the floor and then get another one. But don't okay. drop onion on the floor because it's toxic to dogs. Oh yeah, actually, can you, so is garlic. Oh, okay. If anybody could grab that, I'm sorry. I feel really bad. It's right over there by the tripod. Um, uh -huh. Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So... When I first, um, I thought that I was five foot two to start out with, and the normal BMI, the very highest, twenty four point nine normal BMI, for a um, person that's five foot two, is one hundred and thirty six pounds. And since I started out at four hundred and thirty six, guess what that meant? It was exactly three hundred pounds. 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 And so I thought, ha. Ah, that is a sign that that is what my initial goal weight should be. So I called it my penultimate goal. It was never my ultimate goal because honestly, I believe that if you eat correctly, that your body will just find its way down to where it's supposed to be. I don't think that there's a magic number. I do think that a BMI is a good guide. And so when will I decide I'm done? Well, I did take, I did put on a little bit of weight when I had the surgery um and so because i i went from walking twenty thousand steps a day to like two thousand and um i just wasn't as active and so i put on a little bit of weight so i'd like to take that back off and honestly i just want to be fit and healthy at this point i just want to be strong i'm working out i'm lifting weights and doing all that and so no i don't have a, i don't really have a magic number i use i You'll, you'll laugh, but I was meditating one time and I saw in my mind 122. Like I saw the scale with my feet and I saw one, two, two and like the electronic. Cool. Um, you know, and, and so anyway, that seemed like a significant number to me. But the close, now that I've got, once you've gotten off 300 pounds, yeah. You, it, it just becomes, le it, the number on the scale becomes a lot less important. OMG, you guys. Seriously. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that so oh. delicious? Oh, my God. Yeah. 
We're gonna. Are you ready for me to stuff? I let's stuff I mean, them. Shana them. thought she was done losing weight four years ago, and she's still taking weight off. Yeah. yeah. Shana, are you deliberately trying to no. take off? No, weight? I'm not deliberately. It's just right? coming off. Yeah. It's just no. coming and off. I'm not on losing any weight, but my clothes keep getting smaller for some exactly. strange reason. All right. Next question. While she's stuffing. All right. Stuff. Lori wants let's to show know them what they look like while we're. You ever I'm listening? Have you ever had all or nothing thinking? Hmm. And if so. What did you do to change it? Heather is wonderful. Here we go. So that's what it looks like. Yeah. These, just to mention, so I'm going to turn the oven down to 350. Cool. They're going to go in there about 40 minutes or until the outside just barely turns brown. I think okay. we should air fry them because we're going to We could air fry them. We're going to a makeup class. You know what? You could, you could air fry these. Yeah. Absolutely. You could totally air fry them. I've never tried that, but we so totally could. So let's try could. something new. I, I'm down for it. Maybe we could do half and half. There you go. That could be fine. Have you ever had all or nothing? Yes. Thinking? You should say never. <laughs> I've never had yeah, all or nothing. <laughs> I always thinking. have had it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yes, absolutely. So, that, so, what I mean by that is I would feel like I had to do a plan perfectly. And if I didn't do it perfectly, then that meant that I was therefore off of my diet or off of my plan or whatever. And that, furthermore, that meant I could eat whatever I wanted for the rest of the day because I'm now off my plan. But even worse than that, I could, I had to eat all the things that I felt I was deprived of because I was, I'm going to be back on my diet tomorrow or I'm going to be back on my diet the next day or, you know, Monday or after the holiday, whatever it was. And so that so did not serve me. If I would have just said, okay, didn't mean to eat that gonna figure out why I did that gonna just resume and get back where I was and start eating correctly again then I would have whatever additional calories I ate in that one meal but instead I let it throw me off track I let it make me feel shame and guilt take away my confidence it was um, it was not serving me and so now um, I'm not perfect sometimes I'll, I'll mess up just like anyone and I just I try to pay as little attention to it as possible. I don't want to feed that dog, right? I don't want to give that my attention and my um, my thoughts. I want to just focus on next bite healthy, next meal compliant, get right back on track. And by doing that, you you not only save that that mental weight, but you also you know save a lot of calories. Excellent. Yeah. This smells so good. I'm about yeah. to take a bite. Seriously. Christopher wants to know what sort of exercises did you begin with and how did you transition into beginning an exercise program as someone who was morbidly obese? So that's a great question. I when I even when I was 436 pounds, I really believed that I needed to do some walking. Good. And walking is a super safe way um, to proceed if you are very, very heavy. There was a couple of reasons I chose it. Um, I was a, I was close to being in a wheelchair because I had to use arm canes to, to help me walk. I could only stand for five minutes at a time. And when I very first started walking, I had a dog named Hazel. And she was an Australian Shepherd, a beautiful dog. And we would go to this one park that had, I'm not even kidding, a park bench probably about every 200 feet. And my first, I would let Hazel, it was safe, it was fenced. I would let Hazel off leash so she could run around with the other puppies and I would walk, thank you, thank you, Derek. I would walk from one bench to the next bench. Let's let's pop them in there since the oven's already on and it's already all ready to go. Because I know that'll turn out. And what we'll do is we'll put the picture of the finished product on, let's put it on the yeah, UWL site yeah, and let's absolutely. put it on Chef AJ's page if you want. Um, and so I walked literally, and then I practiced, and then I wanted to walk from to the next park bench. And so, and then the next, and then when I made a whole revolution around, that was a big day for me, you know. And so the thing is, when you have so much to take off, it can be really discouraging. Because even if I did 100% today and 100% tomorrow and 100% for six months, I'm still going to be you know 350 pounds or whatever and so I always said to myself what can I do today 
that will put me closer to my dream. What can I do today? Everybody can do something. Everybody can do something. Even if you're in a chair, you can do chair exercises. Even if you um, have, you know, physical limitations. I know um, Shada, when she first started out working out with JP, she actually had a boot on her leg and she said that those workouts were some of the most challenging of her life. So we can all do something and um, I want to just end with like that the attitude that I had was that exercise is not optional. You don't have to like it, you just have to do it. That's right, just like eating vegetables. Mm -hmm. You don't have to like, like it. it, you just, you have, just to have to do it. it. Put on your big girl panties and let's do it. That's right, we'll suck it up, it. buttercup. Suck it up. Suck it up. Do, do you need these? Because I'm going to do something with them. Do it. Because we have no more bell peppers, Go. right? So I'm going to create an impromptu recipe. That's as awesome. I ask Heather the next question, which is... Knowing what you know today, Debbie asks, what advice would you give yourself a year ago? Knowing what I know today, okay, where was, let me think about where, what One I was doing a year ago. So it was 2, 221 17. So last year at this so time. So last year around this time. I was doing really well around this time last year. I was really, really focused. And so I guess I would say, I would, what advice do I would say? I would say bookmark this in your brain. Keep keep track of what it feels like to be really on track and keep track of what it feels like when you're really motivated and when you're really ready to go and when you're having success because there's going to come a time when you're just like, I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not motivated. I'm just, I'm discouraged. There's going to come a time like we do that. And so an important thing that I do now is when I feel like that, I say, well, think about a time when you, if I feel depressed, I say, well, think about a time when you were happy. Think about a time when you were really motivated. Think about a time when you were really strong. Think about a time when you wanted the thing, you looked at the thing, you stared the thing down, and you didn't have the thing. By putting yourself back in that mindset, you're going to get that power back. You're going to be like, yes, I remember that. I was so strong. I went all the way through the airport. I wanted all the things. I didn't have the things. Um, and, it, and it can give you hope and encouragement for today. So that's what I would tell myself is when you're doing great, really bookmark that. Some, some people say physically like. I say make a video. That's what we tell people yeah. in mastery. And, and physically, like, um, make a fist or something like that. Like, I'm going to remember this. And then if I ever need to remember it again, I can, like, make that fist. And um, you'll, you'll laugh, but I, I think about the power poses, like the Wonder Woman and the Superman and all that kind of stuff. Get back physically in that frame of mind. Just like if I'm not happy and I want to be happy, like I want to snap out of it, um, making yourself smile even when you don't necessarily feel happy after a while you will feel happy mm -hmm. you do the physical motions the outside think the, the thoughts inside. yes and think the thoughts and all, oh my goodness all right so i have ocd and, and, and i hate when there's an uneven number of stuff so we have extra stuffing extra cheese sauce extra groats so what i'm going to do is bake these and these are going to be stuffing muffins i love it i love it all right so the next question, I gotta change the thing while I ask it, is Colleen. Yeah, let says, me put this on the other. Um, on the other yeah, rack. Right. Colleen says, I gotta just have to lower that. that. Colleen asks, Have you ever relapsed? If so, how did you get back to the ultimate weight loss program, and how quickly? Do you ever feel discouraged by the amount of time it would take you to lose the weight that you wanted to lose? Okay. Did I feel discouraged? Hugely, hugely. That is one of the things that kept me from initially doing it, right? Is that, um, really, Bailey? Bailey. Um, one of the things that held me back from doing it is I was like, oh my gosh, I have such a long way to go. At some point, I had this feeling of, maybe I'm too far gone. Maybe there is no hope for me. Maybe I can't get back from here. Maybe I'm trapped in this body. Like, I felt like... I have physically outgrown my skeleton and I don't know if I can get back to where I was. And so um, that so that's the answer to the first question. And then did I relapse? Yes, I totally did. And what I did was I got cocky and I thought I was I had taken off over 200 pounds. Um, and it, I had been on the path for a really long time and I told myself the lie that you can have just a little bit and then you can, you'll get right back on. And 
I'm telling you, you guys have to listen in your brain for the lies because now I talk back to the lies. Now I say, why would you take that chance? No way. Because what happened to me is I had just a little bit and then that set me off. And then I found myself back almost to where I was when I first started out where I would have every great intention in the morning and then find myself, you know, going off plan by dinner time. And every time you do that, it takes a little bit of your self-esteem. It takes a little bit of your faith in yourself. It erodes your integrity and then you have that guilt and that shame. And that's not a place that I want to live anymore. And so... Um, it took me a long time. It took me, I took back on 60 pounds, 60 pounds of pain. I always say we wear our sorrow under our skin, you know, and so it was so much shame and so much like I had already started the channel. I was already in UWL. So I felt like so isolated. I can't tell anybody that I messed up. I got to be perfect. I got all these people watching me or I got people say I'm their example or I'm inspiring them. And the thing is, I'm just another food addict trying to get through a day, right? Getting through a day one day at a time. So what happened was this woman right here came and kicked my butt. <laughs> no, but it's true. My tribe, my tribe came through for me. The, um, the Dr. Ultimate... Tarman says it's really crucial for anybody with any addiction yep. to have support. Absolutely, because... The ultimate weight loss group, we call ourselves a tribe of lefties because we eat to the left, left of the, the red, red line. line. If you don't know what that means, you need to watch the amazing um, caloric density um, video that AJ posted a little while ago. But um, my friends, yeah, I get by with a little help from my friends. They helped me get back on. I screamed and cried. I, um, I, you know, figured out what I did wrong. But most of all, I just never stopped trying because every single day, just getting right back on track and if you if it takes a thousand attempts it takes a thousand attempts make a thousand and one get fall down seven times get up eight times what well, that's the definition of success yep patrice says i think uh, she'd like to know a little bit about what your day looks like so you could just say i get up and have blank for breakfast or my day looks much like chef aj's uh, curious if you do anything different than me, you know, so what do yeah. you look like? Okay, so um, I go, I, I uh, so Chef AJ works in the home. I work outside the home. So on a typical day, what I would do is wake up and I wouldn't eat anything right when I wake up. Instead, I would do some prep. I do most of my prep on, on Sunday and mm -hmm. I'll make uh, like a bunch of salad toppings and things like that. So what I, um, and I've shown this on my um, channel, The Butterfly Effect plant-based weight loss but subscribe you, yep so I have I take um, a one pound box of um, of greens usually some kind of organic greens and then I'll add to it either cruciferous crunch or some broccoli slaw or something with cruciferous vegetables and I take my ulu and I chop the living stuffing out of that thing like I just chop it chop it chop it chop it so that I can fit more in the box. Thank you. And somebody asked me, do you use the wooden bowl with the ulu, or do you, um, or do you uh, use, not? And I use, I use Tupperware. It. She uses her Tupperware. I usually use the plastic box, and yeah. I also bring that to work We're and then just folk. recycle it. Mm -hmm. We're simple folk. But I don't want to ruin my good stuff, right? Yeah. So and the and the ulu can do that. So I just chop it, chop it, chop it like a man. Get out my aggressions. And then I'll add in all the good stuff. Chop so it I like, like a man, meaning like like you the way like you would, I'm mad. Oh, like I thought I'm you said it. you chopped her, it like her. a man, like the same way you would That's chop what a I man. Thought you said like okay, a man. I got it. I didn't no, know you, you can chop, chop it a like man I'm if you angry. Want. Chopping men now, are we? No. Yeah. <laughs> and so I don't know what that means, but um, men, I'm safe. I promise. Uh -huh. I'll put down the oil. and single. Um, so then I'll add. I like to add grated carrot. I love grated beets. I love, bowl. yes, especially absolutely. raw, especially raw. I also like to add salsa because I've heard that you're supposed to get to cook tomatoes. I like to put garlic in there. I'll put a teaspoon of um, um, ground flax seeds, nice. just a little bit, just a teaspoon in there. That's what Sharon does. Yep. And I will also put, um, I use hummus as my dressing because greens and beans. Right. Because that was a question to you, yep. not vinegar dressings. And that would have been my answer, hummus, salsa, or a combination, blending salsa. Which is what I salsa. do. I yep. love that. And then I also add on, I'll add on a cup of quinoa and a cup of beans. Yeah, well, I love, I love I quinoa. Usually just quinoa because I've already got my hummus on there. 
So then that is a really big thing and I'll take that to work with me and I'll eat that over three meals. But I don't eat right or usually over two meals because yes. I don't eat when I first wake up no. in the morning. I'm not Most hungry. Most of us don't, yeah. I'm not hungry. So I eat about mm, 11, 12, whenever. I wake up really early. I wake up like four in the morning. Some other things I do after I prep my salad is then I go to the gym and I, well, I walk my dog. I walk my furry personal trainer and that's usually only one or two miles, not very far. And then I go to the gym and I lift weights and usually just wow. for 15 to 30 minutes and take my quick shower at the gym, get on the train, go to work, work, come Hot home, star. Yep. walk my furry personal trainer again. <laughs> And then, you know, do all my other stuff. But I do a lot of stuff at work. Um, you know, I'll take, I'll use my breaks to meditate. I'll use one of my breaks to do a meditation. I will um, sometimes walk at lunch. I think it's really important to, to work exercise into your day. I try to get steps every hour instead of just in a chunk here and a chunk there. So I hope that answered your question. Excellent. Uh, Lori from your page wants to know if you eat the same volume of food now as you did when you were eating UWL and losing weight? That is a great question. Pretty much yes. I would say mm -hmm. it's similar. So a lot of times I'll bring that giant salad and do you know Chef AJ, sometimes I get salad shamed for like how oh big my, my salad is. Dr. Are. Goldhammer says if it's not enough to feed a family of eight, you're not eating, eating enough, enough salad. salad right? Yeah. But um, I don't always eat the whole thing, but I believe in bringing more than you need. Yeah, always 24 hours of food. I don't yeah. go anywhere without 24 hours. So I'll eat until my tummy tells me, oh, you're comfortably full. And some, sometimes that's the whole box of this salad and sometimes it's not. Um, I'll also sometimes add a sweet potato to it or add some Yum. berries to it or something like that. So I'm getting my starch right along with my um, greens. And I will say when I first started out, I would just get the, I would just get the greens without the starch. So maybe that's changed. But um, I've, and, I, and maybe instead of like chasing recipes, I'm a lot more happy with simple food. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's one of the secrets. And I'm a lot more happy with what I call repeaters. Like yep. second verse, same as the first, you know. I'm always having the same thing. I'm totally happy with you, that. My what you food, crave tomorrow is what you eat today. So mm -hmm. My food makes me happy. My food doesn't have a lot of variety, but that also helps keep my food addict to brain. As Heather once calm. said, variety is the spice of obesity. It sure was for me. It sure was for me, and so the kiss even of death, now, if I go is. to a, even if I go to a completely compliant potluck, I it's too I'll much say, overload. Yeah, I ate, I, the potluck we went to on Sunday yeah. it was extraordinary. I literally ate two things and only two things. That's what I was going to say, and I told, I even told the chef AJ, hey, watch me that I don't go back like eight times <laughs> yeah. because I have every good intention right. until is I see it. Death. You know, right. I see it, and then I'm like. Oh, I want to try that, and oh, I know Shada made that salad. I'm gonna have that salad, and oh, look at that fruit. Mm -mm -mm, you know, and while all of those things are okay for me to have, I shouldn't have all of them at once, right? I don't need a week's worth of food at once. And so, for me, keeping it simple, they call it plain and sane. Mm -hmm. Plain and sane really works. Yep. Works well for it me. Works for everybody. Two more questions. Sure. Kristen says she's heard that people won't make a change unless they can see success is a real attainable possibility. How did you come to see success as a possibility for you? How did you find the courage to start again after multiple attempts? Great question. Oh my gosh. Well, I really didn't have a choice, Kristen, because I promised my mama. I Those made death promise bed promises are, yep. are pretty I powerful. I didn't have a choice. And so but I, you know, I had taken off about 140 pounds before that all happened, but I was starting to put it back on. And my mom's like, you know, I cannot, you cannot use me as an excuse of why you're gonna gain all this weight back. And that was such a smart woman, darn her. Um, <laughs> and so um, I didn't, I felt like that took away my option of giving up. I didn't have a choice to, as to whether or not, I promised my mom that I was gonna take care of myself and I promise myself and I promise my kids, I always say we don't only belong to ourselves, we belong to everybody that loves us. And if you've ever gone through a chronic illness with a family member or a cancer scare or a heart attack, or you know that you have the stress and the pain and the worry um, 
just right along with the person. And I didn't want to put my kids through that, you know? And so <laughs> I felt like I didn't have an option. I also, I felt like um, I really focused on doing the right things rather than the results because you can, you can do everything in the world and the, and the scale might not move. You could go for your walks, you could eat compliantly, you could get social support, you could get enough sleep. There's so much more to it than just diet, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Yeah, it's a whole lifestyle. And so um, I focused on that. And if I felt, I changed my definition of success. So if I got enough sleep, if I ate compliantly, if I went for my walks and talked to God and did my meditation and all those kinds of things, I count that day as a success whether or not the scale moves. And you know what is the beautiful thing? If you do all those things, it will move. The scale will yeah. move. I, it did for me. It did for me. Last question. Maria first wants you to know that you're a superstar. I agree. Not Her kind Thank and you. compassionate nature is so inspiring as opposed to my bitchy uncompassionate nature, but just kidding. So her question is, what are your thoughts and advice on dealing with unsupportive family and friends? Oh boy. So the cool thing is I have extremely supportive kids. That's the people in my life. But you know, I have had, I had, a, I had a housemate that wanted to make something that I won't mention every mm -hmm. night, but mm -hmm. it was a baked good that smelled really yummy and was one of my trigger foods, you know? Um, and so that person, I politely asked to thrive elsewhere, right? So I think that that's a really good idea and I think it's really important. The reason that my kids knew how to support me is because I told them, I need your support, I asked for it. So I think that's the first thing, ask for it. You know, so many people are like, my husband's unsupportive. They won't even right. ask. Some of the people in the group of women don't even ask because right? they say, oh, I can't ask. I, I could never ask. ask him. I couldn't ask, really. Yeah. So I asked. And, and, and then, and my, you know what? The thing is, it was like, you can have whatever you want outside the home, in your room, you know, somewhere else. Would you do that for me? Because I'm trying so hard to save my life and be happy and healthy and live a long time and they're like of course we love you yeah. absolutely if, that's right a Maybe. loving family member will support someone in recovery operative word being loving so first the thing is I asked then I told them exactly what that looks like because you can say will you please support me and they think they're supporting you by getting you vegan chocolate mm -hmm. or getting you you know I had someone I made this just for you and I didn't put any cheese on it but it was lasagna yeah. and I'm like I also don't eat the noodles right, I also right. don't eat the oil and the sauce yep. but they were they were trying they were being loving and kind but they just you need to tell them what that looks like how you can so please support me tell them exactly how you can support them and then can I just say we teach people how to treat us so if you find that people are not being supportive why are you accepting it yeah, I'm just like, you know what, that's so not okay with yep. me. And I have, there have been events or family gatherings or things where I did not feel supported that I'm just like, you just didn't go. I enjoy it without me. Mm -hmm. Good enjoy for you. Enjoy it without me. And because you got to love yourself. And this is your survival. For nice me, girls finish fat. fat. For me, this was life and death. Yep. Like, I was so heavy and I had so many health problems that... I was already living on borrowed time, right? I had already outlived my life expectancy for someone my size. And so treat it like it's life or death and treat your abstinence, give it love and treat it like you would a little child. Like don't put it in situations it can't handle. Give it support, hold its hand. Don't take it to things it's not ready for. Mm -hmm. Um, you stayed home on your Thanksgiving because you just couldn't, I did. You could, it was after a relapse and you just I couldn't just face that. I just didn't want to take that chance. That's right. There's nothing That's because more you important to me. Yourself. The most important thing in my life is God. The second most important thing is my family, but my abstinence lets me be there for God and my family. And so I treat my abstinence like, right, Bailey? Yeah. Bailey agrees Bailey's with me. Bailey's giving it an amen. All right. <laughs> Bailey agrees with me. Oh, it's right. Kenny. It's Kenny. It's Kenny? Yeah. Well, my goodness. Awesome. Yeah, the game's off here. Kenny knew we were pizza. making food. <laughs> so, Heather, thank you so much for being such an I inspiration for Thank everybody. you so much for just having really, me. Really, I feel like seeing it. Do you ever know?
that you're my hero. She's oh. everyone's hero. She is the darling of UWL. And thank you guys so much for watching episode 64 of Weight Loss Wednesday. And I'll post these recipes absolutely, on absolutely. the UWL site and on your page. Well, thank you. And you can see that no matter where you are in your journey to optimum health and weight loss, Heather has lost 300 pounds. I didn't lose it. Well, Heather, Heather <laughs> she gave it away. She Heather released it. Got rid of it. Reallocated. The, 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 the point is, is, is this just proves you really can have both the health and the body you so richly deserve. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye, everybody. Push the button, Eden. Pay